Good morning on this Friday morning on the 22nd of the 5th, 2020. Revision from our previous lesson. We are doing the clock. This is the face of a clock. Uh, we, the Anna clock uses the long hand to indicate the minutes. And the short hand, short hand indicates the hours. This is Sam's face and this is a clock's face. Right, now when the long arm is on the six, we say it's half past. And then the short arm will be in between the number one and two. It lies in the middle. The time says here, half past one. Homework. Did you make your clock? I hope it came out nicely and I hope you enjoy working with it. Today's counting warm up. We are going to count in twos, starting at 20. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, and 66. Let's do it all together again. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66. Explaining the time. Remember yesterday, we were talking about the long arm. When the long arm lies on the 12th, like that, we say it's the hour. The face of the clock is numbered. We always start with a 12 on top. Then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So when the long arm lies on the 12 and it goes all around the clock, we say 60 minutes in one hour. Next one, if you take the long arm, and it moves all the way and it lies on the three, we say it's quarter past. How long is quarter past? Let's count the minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen minutes for quarter past. Now the long arm moves on from there and it goes up to the six. And when the long arm lies on the six, we say it's half. How many minutes in half? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 minutes in half an hour. Now from the six up to the nine, we say, Quarter two, because 15, 30, and 45 minutes for 42. Let's count the minutes. Counting the minutes is to count in fives. Let's practice counting in fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. There's our clock. We start at 12. If the long arm moves from the 12 to the 1, we say 5 minutes past. 
when it goes from the one to the two, we say 10 minutes past. When it moves to the three, we say 15 minutes past, or we can say quarter past. Right. If it moves to the four, we say 20 minutes past. And to the five, it's 25 minutes past. And when it's at the six, we say 30 minutes past. Now, when we move on from there, when it's going to the green side of the clock, we are going to count backwards. So let's do that first. We start from 30. 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Let's do it on the clock. We stopped at 30. Now we are saying 35, 40. When it's on the 9, it's 45. When it's on the 10, it's 50. When it's on the 11, it's 55. And when it's on the 12, it's 60 minutes. So 60 minutes passed all around the clock. And 60, 60 minutes is one hour. The 24-hour clock. On the 24-hour clock, we have the long arm on the 12. If the long arm moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it shows on the 1, we say 5 past. When the long arm moves another 5 and it lies on the 10, we say 10 past. When it moves and it, go and it lies on the 3, the long arm lies on the 3, we say 5, 10, 15 past or quarter past. Then we go for another 5. When it lies on the 4, we say 15. The next one is 20 past. And if we, the long arm lies on the 5, we say 25 past. And when the long arm lies on the 6, we say half past. You know that the right side, if it goes all around the clock to the right and it gets to the six, it's past. Now it's going to move into the yellow and it's going closer and closer to 12 again. So we are going to move into two. So after 30, we are going to count backwards. Backwards, when it moves from the six to the seven, we say it's 25, two. When the long arm is on the eight, we say it's 22. When the long arm is on the nine, we say it's quarter two. And when the long arm is on the 10, we say it's 10, two. And when it's on the 11, we say it's five, two. And when it's on the 12 again, it's on the clock. So let's count how many numbers we've passed. How many hours? One hour, two hour, three hours, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hours have passed. Now when twelve hours have passed, it's twelve noon. It's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Now we are going to count another 12. So we start again. Then we say 1 o'clock in the afternoon, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It's the hours. 4 o'clock in the afternoon, 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock in the afternoon, 7 o'clock at night. 8 o'clock at night, 9 o'clock at night, 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, and on 12 o'clock, it's midnight. So the first 12, and this is the second 12 that passed. So we know now that one day has 24 hours. 
right. Now, if we go round to the right, it's fast. And if we move to the left, we, the time becomes two. What is the time on this clock? Yes, it's three o'clock. We are going to practice more. Let's tell the time on this watch. Yes, the 12. Yes, the long arm. It had it gone all the way and it lies on the floor. How many minutes? We are going to count the minutes. We say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the time here is 20 past. Where is the hour? It's between the six and seven. It lies in the middle between six and seven. So what is the time? Five, 10, 15, 20 past six. Now this clock, I'm going to show you something else here. Yeah. What is the time on this clock? So there's the 12. So we can count the minutes backwards. We can count it 5, 10, 15, 20. Look again. From the 12, we're going to the 11. It's 5 minutes. If we go to the 10, it's 10 minutes. To the 9, it's 15. And when it's on the 8, we say, 20 and this side of the clock is 2 and the short arm lies almost on the 7. So the time on this watch is 20 to 7. Your turn to look at the minutes. This is a clock, it's an hour. How many times did the long arm walk from, no, from 12 to 1? five minutes. If the long arm lies on the two, ten minutes has passed. If it, if the long arm lies, if the long arm goes from the twelve to the three, we say fifteen minutes past or quarter past. How many minutes past here? Yeah. Five, ten, fifteen, 20 minutes has passed. And here, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 minutes have passed. And here it went all the way to the 6. And we know that's 30 minutes. 30 minutes passed. Now we're just going to add on our counting. 5, 10, 15. 15, 20, 25, 30, plus another 5 is 35 minutes that has passed. This one, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 minutes that has passed. And this one, if that is 40, we add another 5 minutes, so it's 45 minutes. And we can also read this as quarter 2. Here we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, I'm sorry, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50 minutes. And that one is all the way 55 minutes i'm gonna unmute some of you now and i'm randomly going to point out the watches and you just tell me the time when i point at it nolene 25 your turn Nduvo. 40 minutes Tandeka, 55. That's correct. I want you to look at these watches. 
And you know now this way, if it goes this round, we say past, and it, when it passed the six, it's going to two. Now, next time when we talk about time and clocks, we are going to use digital time. And that's something new. We will talk about it next time. So, that's the end for today. As you know, time flies. For homework, you are going to choose your own time and draw it on the clocks. Answer this question as well. How many hours are there in one day? And with that, it's goodbye. See you on Monday and enjoy your weekend.